This movement is called the double band posterior humeral glide. So we need a pretty heavy duty band on the lower one here, and then a little less strength on the top one. So the first thing is getting this lower band in the correct position. So where your deltoid or your shoulder muscle kind of meets your bicep, you have that kind of little groove right there. I want this heavy duty band to go right there, which is going to be right below the head of the humerus or your top of your arm bone there. Now what we're going to do is pull ourselves or lean into this a bit. It doesn't matter which way the feet are, they can be staggered each way. But I want you to lean into this so it's basically going to pull that humerus back into that glenohumeral joint. So now we need to try to approximate the elbow in a forward position. Now we're, with our opposite arm, we're going to pull this band, put some tension on, and allow this to pull us back. So now we're getting a good stretch through the lat, through the tricep, teres, all those little muscles that kind of wrap around the shoulder joint here. And now we're just going to kind of make this dynamic, allow that band to pull us, make sure I'm trying to track the elbow straight forward. This is giving me some posterior glide, so I'm working on some joint centration and just going to kind of rock into that. Again, that's the double band posterior humeral glide.